Hello everyone, this is Nellis Geek and we are continuing with my 13 horror movies to Halloween challenge and today's movie is Absurd by Giudamato. Uh, Giudamato is a cult horror director, he's from Italy. He has directed almost 200 movies, most of, most of which are exploitation or uh, porno movies. But he has done uh, three cult horror movies, three cult favorites, and the, I have watched the other two. Uh, the other two movies are Bio Omega, or also known as Beyond the Darkness in the US, and he has also done Anthropophagus. Both of these movies, as well as uh, this one, Absurd, are extreme and nasty horror movies. They go, they go an extra mile to be disturbing uh, and uh, over the top in their depiction of violence. And that's always uh, fun if you like this kind of movies. The original title of Absurd is uh, Rosso Sangue, which is Italian for red, blood red, or red blood, or whatever. And it's directed by Giudamato, who is using one of his many pseudonyms. This time it's Peter Newton. And it's written by George Eastman, who uh, also stars as the monster of the movie. So what happens in Absurd? is it's quite absurd as a premise because we have this um this character he starts with a large man george eastman running away from a catholic priest and he jumps over the fence of a house and gets disemboweled so he goes into the house uh the family there has a daughter which is uh, stranded to her bed because she has a back problem i think I'm not quite certain what it is because uh, it's. I think it's mentioned, but um, maybe I missed that one. And um, he enters the uh, the house. He enters the house, and his entrails are hanging out. So he's taken to the hospital, and the doctors there realize that he has a healing factor. Yes, he's a uh, uh, tall Greek Wolverine type. Who, uh, and so he survives a fatal wound and um, as he's there he recovers and starts killing people in gruesome ways uh, the movie get, goes an extra mile to be uh, violent and uh, disturbing to be fair it's never as over the top gore like in Lucio Fulci movies but it's still um, it's fun I guess it's um, if you're in the Spider movie from the 80s, you will enjoy this one because it's it never goes to the lengths the other two movies went, like Anthropophagus and Beyond the Darkness. They're much more extreme. I think Anthropophagus has one of the more most infamous scenes in horror cinema, at least for that era. He escapes, he starts killing people, and uh, the police, along with uh, the Catholic priest, and Let's be fair, this, there's a whole of a mess for this one because we have a Greek monster. He, he's the guy who gets, uh, he always heals every wound except for head uh, wounds. So that made him insane and the only way to kill him is to um, hurt his brain. He's chased by a Catholic priest, but uh, Greeks don't have Catholic priests. And it all happens in America. It makes no sense, but that's what you get from Italian movies. I mean, it was probably fi filmed in Italy originally, and then they changed the setting to America for the English version. And that's what you get. It makes very little sense, but never mind that. I mean, uh, you're not there for the plot holes, okay? You're there for the gore, and there's a lot of gore and fun gore, and... Um, the last 30 minutes of the movie are quite tense because um, the, the direction slows down, the pacing of the movie slows down, there are some very long um, scenes, um, agonizing scenes, lot of cuts between different places, and it's really, really, really um, fun to watch. It really picks up. It's not a masterpiece. It's decently directed, uh, but it's Workman like work, really. It's a, it's a good direction, but uh, nothing impressive. Uh, the script is decent. Uh, the acting is, uh, well, Italian movies 
uh, had always had acting problems because of the way they're filmed. You see, in most of these movies, um, the actors are filmed without sound, and then uh, the movie's dubbed in different languages. There used to be two versions, at least. There was uh, an Italian version and an English version. Sometimes they did German versions, or uh, I don't know. So uh, the acting is um, is passing, except for a little boy who is acting uh, like a cartoon character, and he's kind of annoying. But children act child actors. Um, that's what you get. But yes, it's a decent watch if you're like if you're into the eighties civilian nasties. Um, I would suggest with a kivit because uh, you have to appreciate. European spotter movies from the 80s to enjoy it. Uh, there are better movies to start, in my opinion. I mean, um, probably Lucia Fulci and Dario Argento films are the ones to start on this uh, genre of Italian horror movies. But nevertheless, it's, uh, it's, it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable for uh, a horror movie night if you're into this stuff. Uh, so, yes, it gets a passing from me. It's got uh, a seal of approval uh, but I would suggest you if you want to watch one Jedamata film uh, probably uh, go and uh, watch um, Beyond the Darkness it's the nastiest movie and it has this amazing Goblin soundtrack to boot so it's a, it's a win and it's much much nastier than this one this is uh, a run of the mill splatter movie I guess but it's well made, so you can do worse in that category. And that was it for Absurd. If you have watched this movie, please leave a comment on your opinion about it. Uh, and if you want to see more uh, reviews of, for, for this challenge, uh, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening. Have fun and stay spooky.